Okay, so the last thing left is actually just to test the connection remotely um, using the DDNS. Again, for this particular step, it needs to be done from a computer that's not on the same network. If you have a laptop with a Verizon connection, you can test it that way. Another option would be to call back to your main office and have them test it, or you can call us here at Spice Center Security and we'll test it for you. Uh, just go back into your DVR list, and we're going to add one more. And this time, instead of using the IP information, we're going to be using the DDNS information. We want to use those words. Just go ahead and put in your DDRDNS.org. Go ahead and put in the information that you entered in for your DDS account. You can add it, and at that point, you can highlight and connect. You should be able to see video uh, across the internet now using the words and not the IP address itself. We've already tested that you can see it internally. We've already tested that you can see it externally using the IP. So this is the last step, testing it, seeing that you can connect using the words. If you've gotten to this point and the video is not showing up, logically the place to go would be the DDNS configuration. Uh, just double check all the numbers, double check all the settings, double check all the account names, make sure the service is running, and make sure the service is updating. You should be good to go. That actually completes the entire process start to finish. And this is arguably the most common configuration you would ever see. Um, it's very common to see a, an internet connection that's dynamic with a single modem and a single router with one or more computers behind it. So this is the most typical configuration that you would probably run into uh, as a dealer for the Spy Center Security DVRs.